Welcome to the Gourmet Gadgetry Creative Kitchen. Today we're going to be introducing you to the cake pot maker from our signature gadget range. This cake pot maker um, is a very popular product. It bakes 12 perfectly formed little cake pots in a matter of minutes. So to start off with, we're simply going to take the clean machine, plug it in to turn it on, and the indicator lights, the red and green light on top, have turned on, um, showing me that the, the machine is heating up. And we're going to leave that for a few minutes. Once the green indicator light's turned off, it's ready to use. So what we've done today is we've taken a standard vanilla cake pot mix and we've refined this mix to make it work perfectly with the Gourmet Gadget cake pot maker to make the balls nicely rounded but also of a deep enough consistency to um, allow the cake pot to sit nicely on a stick. So what are cake pops? Essentially they are balls of cake. But with this machine it allows you to make 12 balls in, in literally 3 minutes. So once, you've, once the balls have been cooked and you've allowed them to cool, you take them and put them on a little stick ready for decorating. And today we're going to be decorating them in the Gourmet Gadgetry chocolate, which we'll show you a little bit later. Now the machine itself um, is really, really lightweight. It comes in a nice small box, so it's very easy to store in your kitchen. And it also comes with a user guide. And in the user guide, you have perfect instructions with step-by-step um, points on how to use the machine, as well as a couple of nice recipe ideas and topping suggestions. You can also find extra recipes and ideas on the Gourmet Gadget Tree website. Okay. So once the machine's heated up, all we do is take a little bit of spray just to protect the non-stick on the top and bottom plates and then I'm going to take the mixture and all you need is literally a teaspoon full. So we're going to pop a little bit of mixture into each of the cavities, working quite quickly because you have to remember that the plates are very hot from below and above the machine. You can use any different flavours. You also get a recipe for chocolate cake pops in the instruction manual. But we've been having fun recently as well with some savoury options such as pizza pops or onion badges. So once the mixture is in, like so, you just take the machine and close it. And the indicator light should show you once it's ready. Okay, so we've left the machine for literally between three and four minutes. You can open the machine at any point to check that your cake pops um, are cooking. So we've left it for, for about four minutes and as you can see, the cake pops are done. And what you're left with is 12 perfectly formed little cake pops. So to turn the machine off, you simply unplug it from the wall socket. Leave the machine to cool for about three or four minutes so as not to burn your fingers because the plates do get very, very hot. Use um, a plastic or wooden spatula, again, to protect the non-stick. The cake pops will literally pop out of the base. The non-stick is absolutely fantastic. You really can't go wrong with this machine. So what I'm doing is removing them now from the machine and we'll leave them to cool for about four to five minutes before we begin to decorate. You can, once they're cooled, pop them in the fridge. Um, by doing this, um, we'll help them to cool right down so that any topping will stick to them properly. So that's it. As you can see with the machine, you're left with it really clean and ready to use. Um, it's ready for the next batch right now, but once, it's, um, once you finish cooking with it, you literally turn it off, give it a wipe down with a soft cloth, and that's it clean and ready to be packed away. Okay, so what we're going to do now is leave these to cool for about five minutes and then we're ready to decorate. Okay, so the cake pots have been left now for about five minutes and once they are cool to the touch, they're ready to decorate. So there's lots of different ways that you can decorate them. Um, 
Our favourite way is coating them in chocolate, which we're going to do today, but you can use lots of different types of icing or also candy melts. So the gourmet Gadgetry chocolate has been melted in the microwave, and we've done that by literally placing the buttons into a microwavable bowl, popping it into the microwave for about a minute, giving it a mix, and then putting it back in again. And the consistency of this chocolate is absolutely perfect for coating the cake pops to get a nice even finish. This chocolate is also used in lots of other types of baking, making hot chocolates, and it's also fantastic for our use of the chocolate fountain. It's a luxury Belgian chocolate, um, and it's also gluten free and suitable for vegetarians. So one bag of this size is enough to coat 50 cake pops. So you literally take your cake pop, pop one of the little sticks inside, dip it into the chocolate, making sure you're getting a nice even coating. And you can see there, it's coated the cake pop absolutely perfectly. Now, we're going to give a little tap on the side just to get rid of any excess chocolate. And just roll it to make sure you capture any drips. Now, to help with the decorating, um, we've got a cake pot stand here. But if you don't have a stand at home, you can use um, Oasis from your local florist or you can also use an upside down melon or pineapple coated with tin foil. So once you've got rid of all the drips, just take your favourite topping and just swirl your cake pot round, making sure to coat it evenly. Like so. decorated cake pop. <laughs>